American culture is full quite throughout history with liars and cheaters and thieves. The sadness to God is that people continue to do these things which he feels are immoral and odd. The truth of Americans is that we all lie a little, but we do not lie in general is true or not true depending on you and your practice of faith. But if you are a liar and abuser and you're harming someone else who you really don't know, then you have really taken not a leap of faith, but a leap to hell. The truth is that American people have a choice. They can be protectors of the light of the Lord, or they can be perpetrators of the darkness of Satan. The life of America is really within the hands of the people presently living, presently thriving, and presently serving the house of the Lord. If you're serving the house of the Lord, then your parish is flourishing. If you're not serving God, then your parish is not doing that. In life, we have moments of time to see the truth of people, and what we see a great deal of is people in general trying to be Lord over other people. I practice at great length at trying to teach people not about my faith, but about the house of the Lord and how it works. That there are many people who think their denomination is the sole source to God's house, and that is simply not true. We openly know that there are people who are holy all over the world, and even the Dalai Lama is one of those people to the Lord. But he has different versions about how he handles his studies, his practices, but mainly he is a perpetrator of peace. The question that you have to ask yourself is, are you holy, but also are you lawful? While everyone has information that they do not choose to disclose because it is private in nature, financial perhaps, or even something of human nature. But the bottom line is that the privacy of our parts, the privacy of our personhood, the privacy of our paperwork, the privacy of our property or possessions remain private to most people.